one, go. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 FM and iTalk 1067.com. Also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Deemer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, and Little Bluebird Studios. And now, Sholo Ford presents high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and worldwide on italk1067.com. Welcome to Sholo High School, home of the Cougars, host tonight to the Snowflake Lady Lobos as they get set to do battle here. The 3-0 and uh, Lobos come in here to face the 2-1 and Cougars. And uh, these two teams, not a lot of love lost between them. Yeah, big rivalry game tonight, and uh, what a way to open up reach and play for both of them as well get to uh, square off against their crosstown rivals. So exciting times here in Sholo, Arizona. Time now for our Ace Hardware keys to the game, brought to you by the Ace Hardware in the White Mountains, now with a 24-7 locksmith. Next time you're locked out of your car, just need a key made. Their mobile unit will come to you. That's the Ace Hardware in Pine Top, Sholo, and Heber Overgard. And you've taken a look at some of the stats, and these two teams match up fairly well. Yeah, so far for the first three games, uh, you know, the story for Snowflake has been score a lot of points, right? They've uh, averaged about 62.5 points per game. Sholo's only averaging around 39 to 40. Uh, so really, it's going to be a tell of who can play some hard-nosed defense and get, in, get some easy buckets early on and see what they can do offensively. Well, we'll look forward to both of these teams uh, squaring off. We're looking forward to a competitive game. We've had some blowout games here recently, and we're a little more excited to see what happens here tonight. We're going to go to our starting lineups here. Um, we should have mic'd the, uh, the public address announcer. I wonder how hard uh, we're wired tonight. So <laughs> I was going to say we might uh, take a microphone over there. We're taking a look at uh, Coach Joe Claire there and the Snowflake Lady Lobos. We're courtside here at Sholo High School, and uh, with the uh, advent of the masks, we are, uh, because we're courtside, we're wearing the mask here tonight, so we hope that that doesn't affect our audio too poorly. Um, but uh, this Snowflake team uh, has done a lot to improve over the offseason, and they looked pretty good in their first three contests. Yeah, I, we had them, what, two weeks ago against Chino Valley, and uh, it was, wasn't even really a game. They just came out. Got tons of points in the paint. Uh, shot well from the outside. I, you know, speaking with Coach Joe Claire just a moment ago, he just said, "Hey, we're just trying to come out here and do business as usual. That's that's what they're up to right now. Just come out, and make sure they get a consistent effort night in and night out that they're on the court." Well, let's see if we can go to our starting lineups from our public address announcer. <laughs> Sure that the audio is going to work real well on that. Number 40, Sadie Hall. 
All right, there's your starting lineups. We'll step away as we honor America in the singing of our national anthem. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on ITALK 106.7 and worldwide on ITALK 1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. It's a tough game out there. We can help you reach your goals and come out victorious. Need help paying for college? Let the financial aid experts at Northland Pioneer College help you qualify for federal, institutional, or tribal grants. See our website at npc.edu for details. Northland Pioneer College. Expanding minds, transforming lives. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Welcome back to Sholo High School as we get set for the Northam Pioneer College tip-off. When it comes time to tip off your college education, choose the college with the lowest tuition in the state of Arizona. That's Northland Pioneer College. And uh, the Lobos are going to win the opening tip here. And right away we get uh, LeSueur with a pass down low. Somehow, I thought she threw that to no man's land. Somehow it caroms off of a Sholo player and back into the hands of the Cougars. Yeah, I don't know how that ball stayed in there, Cam. <laughs> Missed shot off the left side, and now Sholo with the rebound. They'll work it up the floor. Bounce pass, top of the key. Looking for a straightaway three, and banging it home for the Lady uh, Cougars is Laura Ellsworth. That's the way you start off a ball game. Yeah, that's a, that's a good-looking shot there by Ellsworth. Just nothing but net there from the top of the key. Pass down low. Stratton battling. She's going to have her shot blocked but earns a trip to the free throw line in the process as we're going to get our first foul of the game. Nice post move there by Stratton. She takes it strong to the hole. Yeah, foul. Number, number five there on Sw Alex Swanson uh, trying to play a slightly larger uh, Hancock there, right? Is that who's shooting? Stratton. Or, sorry, Stratton. Gives up a few inches on the height factor there, but uh, trying valiantly to stay with her. First free throw is no good for Stratton. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, glass free throw line for Stratton and around and off on the second. She went over the line anyway, so they'll wipe them off regardless. It'll be Sholo basketball. Full court pressure here to start the game for the Lady Lobos. We saw them uh, with some incredible intensity in their two opening games. Nice drive inside, missed the layup though, and the rebound by Hall for the Cougars. She's tied up, and they say alternating arrow is going to favor the Cougars. And that was LaSueur that reached in there and grabbed the ball. An easy press break there by the Sholo Cougars. I, I heard Joe, uh, Coach Claire yelling at the girls. He was wanting them to take away the middle of the floor there, but uh, they were out of position. Hand it off, top of the key for Swanson. Swanson, left side. Actually, still between the circles is uh, Brogan. Brogan and Hall switch uh, possession. And now a pass inside is tipped away and stolen. Stratton got a hand on it. Picked up by number three, Tristan Hancock. Three ball, right side, no good. Missed shot for Ballard. Another try this time by LeSueur is no good. And the rebound to the Cougars. Looking to run, Ellsworth. Has a one on two. She'll wisely pull back out. Kira Bre uh, Brogan over to uh, Swanson. Back to Brogan. Brogan holds above her head, working against LeSueur. Now to Ellsworth, back to Brogan. 
Rogan looks left and tries to pass over to Hall. He finally gets it to Hall. Hall looking inside the paint. Now gives it off left side for Swanson. Swanson looks on the wing left and then hands it off up top. Good feed. Passing inside the paint here and a whistle and a foul. This one's going to go against Macy LeSueur, I believe. Well, and you see the pass there. Really good look there up top. I, the Cougars being really patient there, Camden, on that offensive possession. Looks like they're willing to work that ball around and try to get their cutters. So, yeah, good good offensive set there by the Cougars. 3-0 lead for the Cougars. Broken at the free throw line will hit the first. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw line been active early in this contest. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass reminds you, do not throw bricks. In and out on the second one, no good. Rebound to uh, Davis. She'll clear it out for the Lobos. Stratton to Ballard. Left side to Hancock. Hancock working off the left wing. Down, uh, bounces to the elbow. Now straightaway three is going to go for Stratton. Austin Stratton gets the first bucket of the night for the Lady Lobos. Four to three and a one-point lead. We get full court pressure in the backfield, or rather backcourt, I should say, and a foul called here on Stratton. That's her first. Well, and really, if you're Stratton, you don't want to be reaching around right there. You're not. Nothing good's going to come from that. And uh, you had the count going. They probably were about five or six seconds at that point. And there's a tip. It's tipped away that time by Davis, picked up by Stratton to the elbow. She's going to lose the handle and tries to pass it out off to the. Uh, corner right side to Hancock, but it's too hot to handle for her. We don't have, we don't have numbers. Well, so far, Sholo's doing a good job of breaking this press. We'll see if it continues. As we've seen, that's where the Lady Lobos have had a lot of success early on in the season. Oh, that looked like a travel, no call. Bounce past to uh, uh, Sadie Hall, and then she shuffles her feet, called for the travel here. So. Great recovery there by number two, Emily Davis. You'll see on the replay, she was going to the ball handler off the right side of the court, was able to react very quickly to get back over to block that shot of Hall and force the travel. So great, great defense down there on a two-on-one break. I think Coach uh, uh, Brogan is saying, hey, she never got off the ground. How'd you call her for a travel? Yeah, we didn't quite see that on the replay there. We didn't have a visual of their feet, so... Hard to know. Inside for LeSueur. LeSueur gets the shot. Macy LeSueur gets the double, and it's the Lobos leading for the first time tonight. 5-4 with just under five to play first quarter. And a foul at midcourt. Yeah, that's, that's just Davis not really moving her feet. As you can see there on the replay, she, she's getting beat baseline and just uh, doesn't get those feet moving. Well, is that going to be two on her? Is that why she's going to the bench, Camden? Well, I've got her for, Just I only one. have her for one, but okay. we've uh, watched this uh, Lobo team play two outstanding games already this season. They are 3-0. and oh. We missed the, uh, their most recent game, but uh, these uh, Lady Lobos have had uh, an outstanding start to this season. One of the challenges that they're asking themselves is, have we played any competition yet? And they're starting to find out that the uh, Lady Cougars are for real. Yeah. Well, they're, the Cougars are being real patient here on offense, not not getting into the same game as the Lobos. As I say that, they turn it over on a force. <laughs> Picked up by Ballard. Or excuse me, by Caldwell. Caldwell inside the paint, and she's called for a travel. I like her little fun. I don't know about that. Let's, Let's see on see the replay her here. Foot moves. Well, we're not going to be able to see it. Yeah, I, I felt like she was able to keep that pivot there, but uh, referee saw it differently. Up and down with the dribble, crossing the stripe is uh, Roten. Lobos are in a two-three zone right here too, Camden. Roten looking for a three from the angle left. It's no good. Rebound to the Lady Coug or Lady Lobos rather. Five to four. Snowflake oh, with the lead, shot. and they'll add to it here with Stratton with the jumper. Stratton stops and pops. Yeah, good little crossover move there for the 12-foot jump shot. Beautiful shot there by Austin. Playing uh, cat and mouse up top. Now to the high post, kick it to the corner. Three ball misses. Nice rebound inside. Good positioning for Kira Brogan, and she puts it up and in. 
Well, and that's one of the hardest things to do out of the zone, Camden, is to rebound. And as you saw right there, Brogan was able to just get right in the middle of the zone and comes up with the rebound off the missed three-pointer. So Lobos have got to be better with that. Stratton showing a little frustration here, puts an elbow into Swanson. Swanson playing some tough defense, and, and you see Stratton right here just trying to push her off. Oh, we missed the last half of that, but uh, seven to six. Lobo's hanging on to a one-point lead with 3.05 left to play first quarter. We get timeout. This is Shola Ford's presentation of high school basketball on ITalk 1067 and worldwide on ITalk1067.com. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focus on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. <laughs> Well, we welcome you back to Sholo High School. Candace Smith, my side with Abe Bowden tonight. And it's a 7-6 ball game here as we, after the timeout, we go under three minutes to play here in the first quarter with the Lady Lobos at the one-point lead. And there's a steal. Nice job by the Lady Lobos, picked up by Nichols. Nichols trying to push it ahead. Now gives it over to Ballard. She wants a three. And she's going to be fouled. Be three shots here. Oh yeah, you can see on the replay there. She just gets uh, hit real hard right right on the arm as she's going up for the three point shot. And they're not putting player fouls up on the board for us, so I got to do a better job of paying attention. I believe that was on number twelve, Camden. Meanwhile, Ballard knocks down the first of two free throws from the Mountain Mobile Auto. Excuse me, three free throws from the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw line. I mean, I, I don't want to assign fouls wrong, but I, I believe that was Kyra Brogan if... Sadie Hall checks out. Camry Ballard misses the second. And for her third attempt at the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw line. Now coming out of that last time out, too, we saw the Lobos go to a man-to-man -man defense here. We'll see if they stay the same or if they go back to that 2-3. Well, I've discovered a new trick. You can put your mic underneath your mask and uh, it sounds a little bit better. Okay. Although it pushes up against your face. I don't know if that's good or not. And we get a whistle and a foul called here is Camry Ballard. We'll get to sweat like the athletes out there, I guess, right? I just noticed that the officials had their whistles hang hanging out of their masks. And so I thought, well, Maybe that would work for us. Yeah, something to try. Ballard picking up her first. The non-shooting foul gives the Lady Cougars the basketball. Lobo's playing aggressive defense, meeting the Lobo, or rather the Cougars, all the way almost just under the jump circle here. Now they get an open look inside, and the Ooh. Sphere does a nice job playing defense. She's going to be whistled for the foul here. We'll see if uh, she got her on the arm or not, but uh, the nice inlet pass to Brogan. Yeah, Brogan tries to go inside. And for LaSueer, that's two on her. Well, and I know if you're a Lobo fan, you don't like that one, especially when seeing it in real time. It didn't look like a lot there, but uh, as we saw in the replay, definitely got a lot of arm on that shot. Well, it's always difficult because you don't know how tight the officials are going to call things until... You get through about a quarter and a half of uh, basketball. Yep. Meanwhile, Brogan from the Mountain Motor Autoglass free throw line misses the free throws. And it's 9-6 to six in favor of the Lady Lobos. We get a whistle and a, what do we get, a travel? I, no, I think it was just an out of bounds. I think Lesweer stepped out of bounds there. So Sholo set to check the ball in. And a little miscue and almost stolen away there by Nichols. Cougars getting it back, and now we get a foul called as a player hits the deck for the Lady Cougars. Coming in is Nichols. Yeah, we're going to get it on Nichols as well. Counting it. Called Nichols for the foul there. 
Another non-shooting foul. This time the Cougars will have it underneath their window. Well, and you can see there why Hannah's a great soccer player. She uh, she showed off her wheels right there, recovering on defense. <laughs> now the officials say they're in the bonus, so we're uh, huh. two minutes to go still, huh? We're uh, in the bonus. Yeah, All right, I guess it's a true first, rivalry game, right? Two minutes to go in the first <laughs> quarter. They'll be in the bonus throughout the rest of this uh, quarter and then into the all the way through the second quarter. Lady Cougars make them pay as uh, Hannah Buckholtz with the free throw, and she knocks down both of her Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throws. It's been a welcome addition off the bench there for the Lady Cougars. Cuts that lead back down to one, nine to eight. Good look. And oh. Ballard called for a travel. Coach Claire saying, hey, we want you to take that shot. She goes underneath the basket, and I don't know if she felt like she was too deep to go to the reverse layup or what, but she decides to pass it out, and she's uh, called for the uh, suitcase. Well, Lobos are back in that 2-3 zone now, so we'll see if they can keep them off the three-point line and then go rebound the basketball. That's been sort of their Achilles heel thus far on the defensive side of the ball. And we get a timeout call. 9-8, Lady Lobos with the lead here as we go 1-12 left to play in this first quarter. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on ITALK 106.7 and worldwide on ITALK 1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. Welcome you back. Apologize, there's going to be a lot of manhandling mics here tonight. We'll try to figure out uh, calling a game with masks. COVID 2021 20, basketball, right? Yep. <laughs> Final minute of the first quarter and a turnover that was intended for Hall went off of her hands to Ballard. Good Over look. to Nichols. Nichols tries one up, it's no good. And a whistle and a foul. She earns a trip to the free throw line. That's going to be on number uh, 22 for, yeah, number 22, Roten, looks like. Got her with one. Nichols yet to score in the contest. Be a good opportunity for her here. She misses the first at the Mountain Mobile Autoglass free throw line. 48 seconds left to play first quarter. It's the Lady Lobos hanging on to a one-point lead, 9-8. to eight. Well, fun fact about Hannah Nichols is rumor has it she's going to play some soccer in Utah where I went to school. College of Eastern Utah. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Meanwhile, she misses both free throws. So these two teams battling it out. Pretty tight con uh, contest. Work is that couple now for Roman has been almost stolen away. That's, uh, excuse me, for Buckholtz. Buckholtz has had two of them now that uh, the passes were a little short. Not quite firing them off to her. She's had to come and battle for them. Well, this time she gets a trip to the free throw line, though. Well, and if Hannah takes just maybe a little bit steeper of an angle there, and, and if you're the Cougars, you got to look for for those guys getting in your passing lane. They're, those ladies are going to step in there and steal that ball every time. Well, she was a perfect two for two, and she misses the first half of a one plus one. On the other end, Ballard, as you see here, trying to get around number three zero. That's Kinsey Brogan, the 5'9 freshman, who comes in off the bench to help the Cougars. And we're making a substitution. Camry Ballard will check out for the Lady Lobos. Final 18 seconds. Lobos with the basketball underneath their window. Bounce pass inside. Caldwell looking for someone to go to. Gets it to LeSueur. Now up top. Back over to Nichols. Nichols drives to the elbow. Bounce pass to the top. Three points uh, look is no good for Hancock. And then the battle for the rebound. How about Buckholz? Buckholz has yeah. been all over the place. Well, coming in off the bench too, right? Hey. She was not a starter for the Cougars, and uh, 
Yeah, she's Indiana. a good looking player, playing hard. And hey, we only got one second, get a shot. Buckholtz ties her up and it's the alternating arrow that's gonna favor. Oh, they waved the shot off even though Lasuer was pretty close. I thought that one was gonna go down, but it won't matter, nine to eight. A one-point lead for the Lady Lobos as we go to quarter number two. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on ITALK 106.7 and worldwide on ITALK1067.com. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Well, we welcome you back to the campus of Shomo High School on a cold, wintry day. We finally got the snow we've been looking for for the winter. It uh, came in droves over the last three, four days. And we're expecting more here in a couple days. So, well, Probably a good thing we didn't have any teams from the Valley needing to come up and play sports this weekend because it probably would not happen. Right. <laughs> There's an almost steal by LeSueur picked up by Hall. This contest was scheduled to go yesterday, but because of the snow and everybody uh, canceling school uh, and the road conditions, they postponed it to today to tonight. And there's that high-low action right there for the three. Ooh. High post, kick it out to the angle left, and the three-point look is no good. Rebound is pulled down that time by Katie Penrod, who's checked in for the Lady Lobos. Penrod bounce pass to LaSuire. LaSuire down on the low block up top to... Uh, Caldwell, her three-point look is in and out, no good. Hall had the rebound, then stolen away by Caldwell. Nice hustle by Caldwell. Off the window by Hancock, but it's way off. And the rebound to the Lady Cougars, 9-8. to eight. Lobos with a one-point lead, opening paragraph of the second quarter. Well, if you're the Lobos on that last offensive possession, that's exactly what you want. Good wide-open look, and then a, a shot at the rim by by Hancock. A three-point look here for the Lady Cougars by Roten is no good. That triggers a fast break. Hancock going to take it in and she misses it off uh, the uh, iron there. Caldwell picks up a errant pass and here come the Lady Lobos. Working it uh, inside is Hancock. She loses the handle on it. Nice steal that time by Brogan. And jogging it across the time stripe for the Cougars is Roten. Roten uh, working out on the perimeter. Now out on the wing left. They give it up top for Swanson. Swanson back over here to Roten. Now they go to Swanson on the left side, looking down low for Brogan inside for Hall. Stolen away by Macy Lasuir. Lasuir going to go three on three. Bounce pass for Hancock, and Hancock couldn't hang on to it. Lasuir maybe should have pulled this one out. She tries to force a pass inside that. Just wasn't quite there yet, didn't develop yet, and that's yeah. going to trigger a timeout. Five minutes, 56 seconds left to play here in this. Nope, no, I'm sorry, not a timeout. Yeah, it looked like maybe we'd go to one for the mass timeout. They normally try to do it around this time. but Yep. I thought that's what the official was about to do, but he does not. I jumped the gun. Still 9-8, no scoring yet in this second quarter. Lady Cougars working the ball up top. Now they look down low. Get it back up top for Kulish, who's checked in. And we get a three-second violation called on the Lady Cougars. That's going to turn the ball over. Yeah, good defense there by the Lobos that time. Cougars were just having to pass it around the key. They couldn't get any, anything into that high post area. The Lobos did a good job of taking it away that time. This may very well come down to the team that's the best conditioned here tonight as this has been a pretty hefty battle for both of these squads. Pass That's into the move. low post, and the shot is no good off the glass for Davis. Battle for the rebound is knocked out of bounds by the Lady Lobos. Now, good penetration there by Hancock, and uh, she finds 
finds Emily Davis underneath. She just can't convert. So, yeah, sort of a rough night shooting for both teams at this point, Camden. Top of the key. Now they try to kick it to the left side. It's stolen away by Austin Stratton. Stratton takes it to the elbow, turns around, tries a 15-footer, and she drops it. Austin Stratton had five in the first quarter. She now has seven, and the Lady Lobos back out in front by three, 11 to eight. Four and a half remains here in the second quarter. Cougars trying to put up a three ball. It's no good. The miss by Ellsworth. Stratton takes it, goes to the line, stops at the free throw line, throws it inside for, excuse me, that's for Davis, and Davis does a nice post move to get to the left hand and scores it up and in. Yeah, good look by Stratton, great move there, as you can see by Davis, going up with the left hand, fills the defender off her right side and goes up strong with the left, great move. Well, now we get the mass timeout. We'll step away. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on ITOC 106.7 and worldwide on ITOC1067.com. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Welcome back to Sholo High School, 13 to 8. Lady Lobos out to a five-point lead here as uh, we get set here after the timeout. They're going to wait till all the time expires on the timeout before they start. Four minutes, 14 seconds remains here in this second quarter. Cougars with the basketball needing a bucket here. This game's been pretty tight. There's already been one lead change in it. Shot is no good that time for Brogan. Lobos want to push the pace. They throw inside a little too high for Davis, and it goes out of bounds. Well, they're trying the last play that worked for him there, the Stratton to Davis play. <laughs> oh, another timeout? I got another timeout. And that we'll was a referee timeout, so I don't. That must have been the mask one. Maybe one of the coaches called it on the last one. I don't know. Well, you'd think they'd throw that one in to, with them, but. You would think. <laughs> but they say no. And uh, we remind you our 7 o'clock game will be the boys varsity game between these two squads. The uh, Cougars looking for their first win. 0 for 3 to start the season. The Lobos a perfect 3-0. and 0 And. The question mark on everyone's mind is how tough have the teams been that these two teams have either won or lost to. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a chance tonight, right? And you never know with rivalry games, just like what we're seeing in this one. Um, the Snowflake's going to be well below their scoring average, as we talked about early on in the game. At 62 and a half a game, they're going to be well below that unless they get on fire here. After the timeout, Cougars with the basketball. They almost have it picked off and thrown away that time. Ellsworth picks it up for the Cougars. She's up top, working the point. Her shot from three, deep three ball, no good, but a nice rebound inside for Kinsey Brogan, the freshman. She'll earn a trip to the free throw line. Tries to put that one back up and gets hit on the arm. We see the shot, uh, nice camera work there by our crew. That's Emily Davis, and that's three on her. That'll trigger a, a substitution. And the Lady Lobo bench, Miranda Cal uh, Caldwell, the senior, will check in for her. Miss on the first free throw, and the Lady Cougars struggling at the free throw line. They're over, uh, one for five. There's another miss. Out of the backcourt come the uh, Lobos. They got the rebound and push it up ahead. Austin wants an 18-footer. She got it. Excuse me, Str uh, Stratton, I should say. Yeah, and I, that's uh, Stratton's second made basket in this quarter from that exact spot, so... She's looking to heat up from there, and if you're the Cougars, you've got to you've got to find her in transition. Yeah, they're going to have to recognize her as the shooter and do something to put a hand in the face there. Bounce pass ahead to Stratton goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Cougars. 
You see Caldwell, or excuse me, uh, Ballard bringing it up the floor. There's the bounce pass, and then, oh, it, it was a nice job defensively by Ellsworth to knock that one out of her hands. LaSueur tries a 18-footer of her own that's short. Rebound is pulled down by the Lady Cougars. 15-8 Coug- uh, Lobos, rather. Under three now to play in the half. Working the top of the key is Ellsworth. Ellsworth kicks it to the Good corner. Feet. Back to Ellsworth. Ellsworth, the left hand won't go. Rebound pulled down by Ballard. No, or excuse Cougars. me, by that's, that's right what you want right there, Camden. Point blank layup. Just uh, got to finish. Ballard up top for Stratton. Her three ball is short. Rebound is Ellsworth for the Lady Cougars. She races it across the time stripe. Kicks it right side. Up and down with the left hand is Swanson. Back to Ellsworth. Ellsworth directing traffic. Gets to the high post to their freshman. Now down low. Nice pass and a good bucket inside for Roten. Nicole Roten with the assist from the freshman, Kinsey Brogan. Well, and that's how you beat the 2-3 zone. Just high-low action every time. Get it to the free throw line and then look for the post player underneath and you'll find e- easy baskets against the zone. And a nice look there is big-time take by Tristan Hancock. Her first points tonight, 17-10, to 10, back to a seven-point lead for the Lady Lobos. And if you're a Lobo fan, that's who you want to get going. If those are her first points. Turnaround jumper good for the freshman, Kinsey Brogan. Hits it just underneath the free throw line. Back to a five-point Lobo lead with a minute and a half left to play in this half. Battle for the uh, loose ball. Tried to save it out there was Brogan, but saved it in the hands of Hancock. Hancock to Stratton. Stratton looks inside, gives to Baldwin. Uh, Baldwin or, uh, that was Ballard. Ballard rather, yep. and Ballard able to score it up and in. Well, great offensive set there by the Lobos, running some high-low picks, able to free Ballard up for the wide-open layup. Great play. Biggest lead of the night so far for the Lady Lobos. Good hand by Macy there. Seven's been their best lead so far. Pass comes in. Cougars looking top of the key here. Final minute of this half. Down by seven. Playing up top with some nice passes. Swanson. High post. And the shot no good for Brogan. Battle for the rebound is won by the Lobos. Good and move. taking it coast to coast is Camry Ballard. Make it a nine-point Lady Lobo lead. 21 to 12. They've exploded in the last two minutes of this quarter. Well, and the difference is they've been getting out on transition, right? And That's a block by Caldwell. Hancock with two seconds, drives between two defenders. Ooh. And we get a foul call that she's going to earn a trip to the free throw line with .7 seconds left on the clock. Well, and that's exactly what you want out of a last-second play there. She, the Lobos got the ball with about six seconds left, and Hancock just gets real aggressive, takes the ball strong to the hoop, and when you do that, good things happen in ball games. I think they got Roten on that one. If it was, I have her for two. Yeah, sorry, Camden. I forgot to look when the official came over. First free throw is good for Hancock, and she misses the second. Well, it's a 10-point Lady Lobo lead at the end of the first half. Snowflake, outstanding first half of basketball here, especially those final two minutes as they were able to pull away after a tight game throughout most of the first half. We'll step away. Back to recap this first half for you with a look at the numbers that tell the true story here at intermission. This is Shello Ford's presentation of high school basketball on ITalk 1067 and worldwide on ITalk1067.com. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focus on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives.
I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free dinner. 536-5972 Mountain Mobile Auto Glass Cash Back to you. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. It's a tough game out there. We can help you reach your goals and come out victorious. Need help paying for college? Let the financial aid experts at Northland Pioneer College help you qualify for federal, institutional, or tribal grants. See our website at npc.edu for details. Northland Pioneer College. Expanding minds, transforming lives. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Attention high school juniors and seniors, it's game time. Get ready to transform your life. Northland Pioneer College offers high school students the opportunity to earn college credit while in high school. Get ahead of the game. Complete college classes before you graduate. Visit npc.edu slash advising to learn more. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. Well, we welcome you back to Sholo High School. 22 to 12 is our score at intermission. The Lady Lobos with a nine point run to end the first uh, half. Pull out in front after they trailed in the opening paragraph of this contest until the five minute mark where they took the lead for the first time. Uh, didn't score through the first three minutes, I believe. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school. Direction for the first two and a half minutes, and then they take the lead with about five minutes left in the first quarter. Remained fairly close throughout the rest of that uh, uh, first quarter and deep into the second quarter until the nine-point stretch for the uh, Snowflake Lady Lobos to pull ahead here at intermission. 22 to 12. Apart from that, it's been... Uh, a pretty evenly matched ball game as we take a look at some individual scoring for you. Kinsey Brogan for the Lady Cougars with two off the bench. Two uh, tonight so far for Buckholtz, two for Roten, three for Brogan, and three for Laura Ellsworth. Emily Davis has two for the Lady Lobos, three for Chris, uh, Tristan Hancock, six for Camry Ballard, and two for Macy Lasweer. Tristan Hancock, or excuse me, uh, Austin Stratton. The junior with nine total points here in the first half to lead all scorers. And uh, that's your halftime score, 22 to 12. Back with a look inside the rest of the numbers here tonight with Abe Bowden when we return. 22 to 12, Lady Lobos. This is Shello Ford's presentation of high school basketball 
on italk 106.7 and worldwide on italk1067.com. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focus on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free dinner. 536-5972 Mountain Mobile Auto Glass Cash Back to you. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. It's a tough game out there. We can help you reach your goals and come out victorious. Need help paying for college? Let the financial aid experts at Northland Pioneer College help you qualify for federal, institutional, or tribal grants. See our website at npc.edu for details. Northland Pioneer College. Expanding minds, transforming lives. Welcome back. Sholo High School, home of the Cougars. It's halftime with the Lady Lobos in front, 22 to 12. Let's take a look inside the numbers, Abe, that uh, really tell a true picture here in the first half. Yeah, so really both teams got off to a pretty slow start. Field goal percentage-wise, Camden, I, in the first quarter, the Lobos were shooting two for nine, and uh, the Cougars were two for six. And then uh, at halftime, the Lobos are at 8 for 19, while the Cougars are at 4 for 14. So, really, I, that last stretch, what do we say about the last three minutes or so of that second quarter, the uh, Lobos really helped themselves out by getting in transition, finding some easy baskets. Um, Austin Stratton, if you're the Cougars at halftime, you had to just focus on her. She's got nine of the Lobos' 22, and at one point had seven of their first 12. So. She's, she's really held the Lobos intact here, helped them build that 10-point lead, and we'll see what the second half holds. I, both teams have bound to shoot a little bit better, you'd think, as we look at the second half and going forward here. Well, that 42% from the field, not too bad for the Lady Lobos in that, uh, as you mentioned, in that first half. But they, as you mentioned, did a lot of that there at the end of the half, and yeah. that's something that they're I'm sure they talked about in the locker room as being more consistent. As we talk about our Ace Hardware keys to the second half, brought to you by the Ace Hardware of the White Mountains. Now with a 24-7 locksmith. Next time you're locked out of your car, just need a key made. Their mobile unit will come to you. That's the Ace Hardware in Pine Top, Sholo, and Heber Overgaard. Well, we're set for the second half here as uh, Austin Stratton will check it in. 22 to uh, 12 lead for the Lady Lobos. Top of the key, Hancock working the dribble against Ellsworth. Throws it down low for Davis. Davis trying to find the window. Left it a little short. Hall with the rebound. She's going to be fouled by Lacey, uh, Macy Lasuer. And I believe that's two on her. Again, they are not putting those fouls up on the scoreboard for some reason. So uh, we'll do our best to keep our book, but we can't uh, guarantee that it's the official <laughs> book until we take a look at it. Hey, it's official if we say it is, Cameron. Is right? it? That's how that works? <laughs> not sure that that's – not sure oh, many will agree with us on that, but we'll take it. Good shot. Nicole Roten knocks down the super shot, and that's how you draw it up at halftime. How about that? Yeah, and I – 
That, that's how you're going to beat the zone, too. If you want the Lobos out of their zone, you've got to shoot them out of it. Nice looking three ball that time. Roten pulling the. You're going to get a timeout, it looks like here. Lobos to within seven with that, with the timeout on the floor. 22 15. Lobos lead 7 05. Left to play here in the third quarter. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on ITOC 1067 and worldwide on ITOC1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy, Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. Well, we welcome you back. Six minutes, 57 seconds left to play in the third quarter. After the timeout, Lady Lobos with the basketball. Whistle and a foul as they go inside down low, this time to Ballard. And that's going to go against Sholo's number 22, Nicole Roten. And I have her for three. See if we get any indication if that's correct from their bench. Meanwhile, man, the nice pass inside to Davis equals a bucket. And it's 24-15, back to a Snowflake Lady Lobo nine-point lead. Six and a half remains, opening paragraph of the third. Ooh. Three! Ellsworth knocks down the super shot. Yeah, good, good work around there by the Cougars. They uh, found it in the corner. That's the other spot in the, vulner the, the vulnerability of that zone. 24-18. She cuts that lead back down to six. And a foul here is going to be called. And as you see that the replay there by Laura Ellsworth on the three-pointer, just beautiful looking shot, great form. Nothing but the bottom of the net for. Pass comes in to Ellsworth. Ellsworth going to take it left hand to the left side. Leans in against Davis. Uh, yeah, and, offensive. Oh, an offensive foul called on Ellsworth. Yeah, you'll see on the replay here, Cameron. I think she, yep, she extends that arm and pushes Hancock right out of the way. Good effort she'll by Tristan argue, to get back. argue that, Abe. I'm not sure. Didn't look like it was clear from that angle. Yeah, the back referee over here is the one that got it, too. So, yeah, if you're a Cougar fan, you're probably not super thrilled about that. No. Nice pass to LaSuire. LaSuire off the window, no good. Got her own rebound. Tries again. This time earns a trip to the free throw line. Reminder, tonight's contest brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College. Foul called against uh, uh, Hall. Got Hall for her first. A little uncharacteristic tonight, too, of the Lady Lobos, honestly, Camden. I, I feel like they've missed a lot of layups. I, as I'm just looking at my shot chart here, I'm, I'm counting five missed layups tonight. and it, it feels like maybe it's even a bit more. Just they've had some really good looks. They just haven't been able to finish. Well, they've also missed six free throws here tonight. So this is where it hits one of two at the Mountain Mobile Autoglass free throw line. Reminder, if you're looking for the lowest tuition in the state of Arizona, you'll find it at Northland Pioneer College. With uh, credit hours beginning as low as $40 per credit hour. Northland Pioneer College. Foul called on number 22, Macy LaSuire. That's three on her. Ellsworth at the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw line. Laura Ellsworth, a senior, missed the first. Feels like she's been out there the whole game, too. Just a solid player for Coach Brogan. Runs the point guard for him. She's also been running a lot of that high-low action for him on their offense. and Has a three early here in the second half as well. Boy, they, the Lady Cougars have really struggled for the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw line as well. And we get uh, a little bit of a, a ticky-tack called here. This one going against... Nicole Roten, that's four on Roten. If I have my book correct, and I'm watching for uh, Coach Brogan down there to decide what he's going to do. Macy LaSuire, meanwhile, takes the inbounds pass and puts it up for the Lady Lobos. They lead 27-18. 5-18 left to play third quarter. 
Cougars going to work it around the perimeter, get off to the right side, now to the high post to Ellsworth and reaching in over the, her back this time is uh, Caldwell, excuse me, Ballard. And uh, Camry, we have Camry for three personals. Yeah, I think we might see some foul trouble here in the second half, but especially as tight as the referees are calling it right now. Kick to the corner, top of the, uh, back up top. Ellsworth between the circles. Works it with the left hand. Gives it off right side. Back to Brogan and the pass hands. into Hall. It's going to be knocked away and picked up by uh, Ballard. Give to Stratton. Stratton up and down with the right hand. Bounce pass into LeSueur. High post. She turns. Finds a wide open cutter to the basket. That's Davis. And Davis puts it off the window and in. Now beautiful feed there by Macy. She uh, jumps up like she's going to shoot it and then just finds Davis sitting underneath the basket. Wonderful play there by the Lady Lobos. 11-point Lady Lobo lead, their biggest of the night, and Hall is going to be whistled for a travel on the other end. Adding some insult to injury there. Can't see the feet again, Camden, but I don't know. That was on the other side of the floor. We couldn't really see it either, but I guess the referee was Johnny on the spot there. Up and down with the right hand. Coming over to the right side is Hancock. Gives to Austin. Austin drives. Missed the shot from eight feet out. Rebound to Ellsworth. Ellsworth races it up the near side. Up and down with the left hand. Switches right now back to the left. Hand it off right side to Roten. Roten hands it off to Swanson. Back to Ellsworth. Top of the key. Playing some cat and mouse up top with Ellsworth. Now she has it stolen away by Hancock. Lady Lobos. We'll pick it up as Hancock able to get the steal. Lost the handle on it on the fast break. Slow, uh, slows things up, and they will get into their half-court set here. And Stratton going to spin to try to get down to the uh, baseline. And a whistle and a foul call. I think we'll be in the bonus here. Stratton probably going to go shoot some one-on-one. <laughs> one. <laughs> I think the baseline official, this is going to go... Again, Swanson, I think the baseline official thought somebody else had blown the whistle and he was happy to let them go make that call. Yeah. The, all the other officials looked at him like we didn't have the call, and so he had to walk all the way from the baseline to make the call. <laughs> Timeout on the floor, three and a half left to play third. 29-18, Lady Lobos lead. This is Sholo Forge, presentation of high school basketball on ITOC 106.7 and worldwide on ITOC 1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. Three and a half left to play here in this third quarter. Inbounds played after the timeout. A couple of players colliding down there on the baseline. That's Ballard along with Swanson. They're going to call Swanson on the personal. I've got her with three. No, four. They're showing four on her. Now it looks like the Cougars are going to try to get some substitution here, and we're going to go one and one now. So Swanson will check out. In to replace her is Mackenzie Coolish. You can see Coolish right there in the background behind this as Swanson takes a seat on the bench. And behind the shooting Baldwell, or Ballard rather, I'm sorry. Ballard's first shot is good. Ballard toe on the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw line for her second. In and out, no good. Rebound is picked up there by uh, Kira Brogan, the 5'9 junior. Wow. And a three shot from the. Fresh <laughs> off the bench. <laughs> freshman who just checks in, knocks down the super shot. Mackenzie <laughs> Coolish, the 5'2 freshman. It's got ice water in the veins. <laughs> that was a great shot, too. Absolutely. Nine point Lady Lobo lead. On the other end. 
Battle for the rebound is going to end up into a, and there's Coolish on that shot previously with Stratton in her face. She knocks it down. That's what you like about a bench player, right? Come in and oh, knock yeah. down a, a three ball. <laughs> well, and, and right in front of uh, well, one of the main one players of their, yeah, for, uh, for Snowflake. Yeah, one of their best overall players, Stratton, just <laughs> gets the three she doesn't shot care. right in front of her. She's like the Badger. Yeah. She doesn't care. <laughs> Timeout on the floor, 2.46 left to play third quarter. 30-21, to 21, Lobos lead. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on ITALK 106.7 and worldwide on ITALK1067.com. It's a tough game out there. We can help you reach your goals and come out victorious. Need help paying for college? Let the financial aid experts at Northland Pioneer College help you qualify for federal, institutional, or tribal grants. See our website at npc.edu for details. Northland Pioneer College. Expanding minds, transforming lives. Well, we welcome you back. Two minutes, 44 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. As uh, Snowflake, nice steal that time. Going to be picked up there by Ballard over to Austin Stratton. Stratton takes it to the elbow, spins inside the lane, kicks it back out to Ballard. Ballard knocks down the three. Well, great dribble penetration there by Austin. She gets deep down into the lane and is able to free up Ballard for the wide open look. That's exactly how you draw it up if you're Coach Claire. 12 point Lady Lobo lead, their biggest in the night. Stratton looking at a three. Got it! Austin Stratton knocks down the super shot. Fifteen point Lady Lobo lead. Under two minutes to play here in the third. Up and down with the dribble. Now give it up top of the key. Pass inside, poked away, picked off there. Lady Lobo's looking to run. Stratton spins across the time strike, gets it down to Ballard in the corner right side. It's no good. And the rebound is going to come down to. Nicole Roten, and then Roten is going to be fouled by Austin Stratton. That is three on Stratton. As we see, checking out of the lineup, Hannah Bulkholtz. The 5'5 five five so uh, sophomore sits down. Well, it, the Cougars have not gotten a shot up here the last four times down the floor, Camden. Let's see if they can change their fortunes here. Ellsworth tries the left side, looks down into the corner. Coach Michael Brogan's done a good job with this program since he's taken it over. Well, they're real young. Yeah. You know, I how many times have we called freshmen and sophomores tonight? You know, they're they're a young team. I believe the only senior is number 10 here that we're seeing a lot of time out of in Laura Ellsworth. Yeah, that's tough. The inexperience will show in tough, tight games like this. Mm -hmm. Ellsworth going to penetrate inside and then throws the ball. I think she was trying to get it out to the corner. Going to put her on the line. That's going to be a foul against uh, Camry Ballard. I believe that's her fourth. As we go to the free throw line now, Laura Ellsworth. Hits the first. Final minute of the third quarter. It looks like Coach Claire will decide to leave Ballard in there. Nichols and Davis check out. And she hits the second. 36-23. Final minute of the third quarter. Lady Lobos with the lead. They work it around right side now to left side. Top of the key, Ballard. Ballard drives to the, lane, uh, to the line, kicks right. Shot looked like it may have been blocked that time. Off the fingertips as Katie Penderon tried to put it up, and then the loose ball on the uh, rebound goes out of bounds to the Cougars. 
Cole Roten will bring it up the floor for the Lady Cougars. Hand it off to Ellsworth. Ellsworth going to hand it off to Brogan. Brogan lost the handle on it. Here comes Ballard. Give it over to Penrod. Her shot no good. Austin off the window. Scored up and in. Great follow by Austin not to give up on the play there. They've got a two-on-one break. And uh, she's able to get the offensive rebound. Good hustle. Now it's in pass, final second, and a block shot as the freshman Kinsey Brogan, 5'9 freshman, tries to put up the super shot. Caldwell got her hand in her on the ball and knocked it out of there. Final, uh, we go to the fourth and final quarter when we return. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on ITOC 106.7 and worldwide on ITOC1067.com. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focused on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. Fifteen-point Lady Lobo lead as we go to the fourth and final quarters. We had a great shot of Michael Brogan, the head coach of the Sholo Cougars, working with his team, trying to find answers to go to this fourth and final quarter. They're a team that uh, certainly looks like they could score in in uh, some flurries. And they've, they've actually shot the three-point pretty well today. Yeah. You know, as I'm looking at our shot chart, they've made four three-pointers and shot. Uh, Looks like about nine, so they're shooting almost 50% from the three. So, yeah, don't count them out here in the fourth quarter. Well, the other advantage to that is they've got several players that have done it. It's not like it's just one player. Yeah, no, no doubt. Robles get the ball to start the fourth quarter, and they immediately turn it over on a three-point or three-second violation. They're going to whistle it on Davis, I believe. So the Cougars will get the ball back in a need, much, much needed possession. Going to need, need a bunch of these here to get back into this one down 15 as Ellsworth drives the left side of the free throw line. Lane, rather. That might be five on Ballard there, I think, um, unless we've got our book wrong, but you're the official scorekeeper. I am. So. <laughs> well, I'm going to wait till they decide what she's. Yeah. I thought she was at. They must uh they must have her for four because she's not. Uh, yeah, they're not fouling her out. So. Not being forced out of the contest, although she will come out after Hannah Nichols replaces her. Missed free throw attempt from the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw line from Laura Ellsworth. She hits the second, though. Makes it back uh, to a 14 point Lady Lobo lead. Seven and a half remains in the contest and just underneath the three-point arc this time for Tristan Hancock. Another bucket for her. She has five. It's 40 to 24. 16-point Lady Lobo lead. Again, their biggest of the night for them. Driving inside, putting it off the window with Swanson. No good. Rebound to the freshman. Brogan. Kick it out uh, right side. Now back up top to Ellsworth. Ellsworth works it now to Swanson. Now inside and off the window and in. Scored Kira Brogan. Man, good pass there. You'll see on the replay by Swanson. Great find for the Cougars. Other end of the court, Lady Lobos looking to drive. No good for Nichols. Hancock wants an 18-footer. It won't go. Battle for the rebound won by the Lady Lobos. Nichols kicks out to Austin. Stratton and Stratton. Knocks down the 18-footer. 42 to 26. Stratton's favorite spot just to step inside the straightaway three. And we get a errant pass that's going to be picked off by Nichols. Lady Lobo's wanting to extend that lead up. 42-26. Try a three. Got it. Austin Stratton putting on a clinic. That's her uh, third three-pointer of the game, Camden. She's looking good. So out to a 20-point lead now, if my math is correct. That's not. 18. 18-point lead, correct. And the three ball is no good this time for Kinsey Brogan, the 5'9 freshman. Kick out on the right side. Try a 
17 footer that's off the mark for Hancock. Long rebound. Race it up the floor, drive it inside, draw the contact, go to the free throw line. That's how you draw it up, right? Yeah, that, that's good transition offense right there. Just force the issue a little bit, right? You're down by 18 points. You might as well just try to go get on the free throw line and see what good things can happen by forcing the issue. And I missed who had the I believe foul. they called on Stratton, Cam, 12. Free throw's good for Nicola Roten. That's uh, four on Stratton if it was on her, and I think you're right. Two free throws for Nicole uh, Roten. Well, that will be something to keep in mind here. There are a number of players that are in foul trouble right here. You know, there's yeah. been quite a few fouls called in the game. and So on both sides of the floor, I think we might see some girls foul out here depending on what we end up with. I agree. And the, they're going to change the clock here. I think they – five minutes, 20 seconds is what they're going to put back on the on the clock. Stratton uh, – or excuse me, that's uh, pass inside to Davis. Davis off the window and in. 44 to 20 – excuse me, 46 to 28. Five minutes, nine seconds left to play here in the contest, and the Lobos starting to cruise now. Hmm. Like an off-the-ball foul. They're calling it on Hannah Nichols. We've got Nichols for two. So we start to think about our Honda Outdoor, or excuse me, our uh, Beeler Orthodontics straight line play of the game. Brought to you by Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile, love your smile. Beeler Orthodontics. Nichols going to check out of the lineup. Also our Deemer's Glass. Glass man of the game brought to you by Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Hands down the best place for quality glass at affordable prices. Call 1-888-GLASSMAN, Deemer's Glass. Ellsworth at the free throw line. She's been to the free throw line four times tonight. And this is her, matches her best trip with two quick free throws here. Back to a 16-point Lady Lobo lead. Working out on that uh, angle left side, and Stratton going to be fouled. Laura Ellsworth called for her second. Well, so if you're Coach Brogan, you don't mind that on Ellsworth, right? You're, you're down big. you got to play some good aggressive defense, see if you can force some turnovers. Although you're putting Tristan, uh, or sorry, Austin at the line. So... You might be glutton for punishment by doing that. Well, she was <laughs> 0 for 2 at the line in the first quarter. This is oh, her okay. first trip since then to the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw line. Well, I guess I cursed her then right there. Missed the second one, but the rebound to Lasuir. She hands it off inside to Davis, and Davis travels. Now Davis trying to get back to that left hand again. Just sort of, well, I don't know. Hard to see on the replay there. Well, we... Uh, Got some uh, thoughts in mind for our uh, Beeler Orthodontic straight line play of the game yet, Dave? You know, there's a couple, Cam, and I, I, one of the plays that stands out came in the first half there when the Lobos started their run. It was a great little pass from the top of the key on a uh, cutting Camry Ballard, I believe, is who scored it. Uh, and I think it was Tristan Hancock on the assist, but yeah, it was one of those plays that they, it was one of those plays that they ran out of the out of bounds and, or sorry, out of a timeout and uh, started that scoring run for the Lobos in the first half where they really broke this game open. So that'd probably be one of my nominees. Well, she knocks down one of two at the line. So here's the replay. So there's our, yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of right there. That's the Beeler Orthodontics play of the game, in my opinion. And see the score right there, 17-12. The, the score went to 22-12 at the half so I feel like that was sort of the one that got it going for the Lobos and they haven't looked back since. So Beeler Orthodontics straight line play of the game brought to you by Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Beeler Orthodontics time out on the floor as the players will get a chance to get a breather here. They've uh, added an official timeout to every contest that happens at about the four minute mark of each quarter. 
where the players get a chance to adjust their masks, uh, get a drink, take a breather. And uh, that part of the new COVID uh, conditional rules in order for these uh, players to play, one of the things handed down by the AIA. It's uh, akin to a TV timeout, except for they don't give us enough time to uh, take a TV timeout. <laughs> And they had to reset the clock, it looked like, there, too. 16-point uh, Lady Lobo lead. They get the inbounds play and quickly break the pressure and then get it uh, up ahead. Makes it a swear with the rebound after the missed shot. Davis tries on the other side, and now out of the backcourt comes Ellsworth. Ellsworth kicks it ahead, trying a three-point shot from the angle left. It's short for Roten. Kick it back out in the corner. Ellsworth knocks down the super shot. Well, that's her second of the game from that same spot. So Left her wide open. Oh, they're going long. Deep down uh, court pass to Tristan Hancock. She steps oh, in move. with a Euro step oh. and can't get the shot to fall. But then on the ensuing rebound and putback, she's going to earn a trip to the free throw line. And that was a great move by Hancock. Just couldn't get the uh, layup to fall for her. Tough break. Foul's going to go against Alex Swanson, and Swanson is going to foul out of the contest here. So Swanson with a player disqualification here with her fifth personal. Checks out of the lineup. Meanwhile, at the free throw line, I'm blocked here by an official and a coach. Looks like tell uh, if that went in or not. It, it was it missed free throw, and it's Hancock at the line. So Hancock knocks down one of two. Free throws have not been stellar for either of these teams, so not sure that that's much of a factor considering both sides have missed their hand, missed their share of free throws from the Mountain Mobile Autoglass free throw line. Shot inside the paint, no good. The runner, no good for Ellsworth. Goes up over the backboard. Looked like maybe someone got a hand on it. Three and a half remains. And we get a timeout called with three and a half left. 48 to 34 is the Lady Lobo lead here from Sholo High School. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and worldwide on iTalk1067.com. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Welcome back. Lady Lobos with the basketball up 48 to 34. And a missed pass here is picked off there in the backcourt by Brogan, the freshman. Brogan, the freshman, looking for a three. She's a, missed it off the front of the iron. Kinsey Brogan, the 5'9 freshman, can't hit. But the rebound to the Cougars again. Ellsworth working against Stratton, and she throws it away. Nice steal by Lacey or excuse me, by Macy LeSueur, and then coming back from behind to block it is Kira Brogan, the 5'9 junior. And a great hustle not to give up on the play there by Brogan, as you see on the replay there. Great work by our camera crew to catch that one. That was just a great hustle. She comes down and able to get the trailing block. LeBron James style right there, Cam. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. And nice job there inside the paint. Macy, not to be denied, gets it back. And there's sort of the story of the game right there for the Cougars, unfortunately. Just unforced errors and turnovers. Not able to get any shots up on, on the hoop. Two minutes, 45 seconds left to play here in the fourth quarter. Bounce pass in low. Davis working inside the paint, trying to put this one off the window. It's no good. Battle for the rebound won by LaSueer. LaSueer is fouled as she tries to go back up. Foul's going to be called on Ellsworth. That's three on her. 
In the replay there, we didn't really see Ellsworth in the scrum. She was more off to the side, so maybe a break for the Cougars there. I don't know who it would have gone on, but. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw by Macy LeSueur is good. Reminder, tonight's contest brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College. When it comes time for your college education, choose the college with the lowest tuition in the state of Arizona, Northland Pioneer College. Well, Macy might be a good option for our uh, Deemer glassman of the game, too, here, Camden. She's been been in a few scrums down there on the bottom of the bottom of the boards and well if we had a player of the game designated it'd be easy to call Austin Stratton for that she's no doubt lit it up from the field here tonight leading all scores a nice three point bucket wow. for Kinsey Brogan these freshmen for the Cougars they just don't care they'll fire from anywhere <laughs> And when you got three-point shooters like that, you never can count them out. LeSueur <laughs> trying an awkward behind-the-back shot that time. Glass man player of the game, not offensive player of the game, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> defensive side. We're talking yes. about <laughs> Caldwell's going to check in. Also uh, coming in, we see uh, Kimberly Ike for the first time tonight. She'll replace Macy LeSueur. And, Time now for our Deemer's Glass, Glass Man of the Game, brought to you by Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Hands down the best place to call when you need quality glass at affordable prices. Call 1-888-GLASSMAN, and it will go tonight to Macy LeSueur. Meanwhile, Emily Davis knocks down a bucket. So Macy LeSueur, our Deemer's Glass, Glass Man of the Game, brought to you by Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Hands down the best place to call when you need quality glass at affordable prices. 1-888-GLASSMAN. Glass man. Don't forget, lowest tuition in the state of Arizona is found at Northland Pioneer College with credit hours starting as low as $40 per credit hour. Northland Pioneer College. We get a foul up top, and we'll see if. Uh, so here's a few re replays. Well, uh, that's Stratton there. For the Lobos. At the free throw line for. The Cougars is Buckholtz. The first one misses. She's two for four tonight from the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass free throw line. Well, and I think if you're Coach Claire, you're pretty happy, Camden, Camden with uh, coming in here against your rival, getting your first region win. Tight ball game in the first half. They responded in the last two minutes of that first half on a big run. And just really have not looked back here in the second half at all. So, oh, and Katie gets the bounce for the three-pointer. Good shot by Penrod. Shooter's touch there for Katie Penrod. Approaching the one-minute mark of the contest here in the fourth quarter. Lady Lobos up 56 to 37. Steal, and they trigger a fast break. Cougars still battling here to try to get away with the, come away with the win here tonight. But down 56 to 37 in this contest. They started out the game relatively successful in shutting down this high powered uh, snowflake offense. Lady Lobos like to push the pace and run the floor, and they weren't able to do it in the first uh, 16 minutes or so. Or so. Yeah, and I, I feel like the Sholo Cougars really came out and. I, we've talked about it at length a little bit. They've got a lot of inexperience, a lot of underclassmen playing right now. But they, they had the Lobos out of sync. There's no doubt about that. And if you're Coach Brogan, you've got to be happy with your girls and how the effort they've given. These rivalry games, they always sort of look like that in the first little bit. And uh, Lobos, their talent and experience were able to dominate tonight. And that's why we see a score of 19-point uh, 19, 19 win for the Lobos. So... Well, that's going to end the contest, 56 to 37. Lady Lobos win it here tonight. We say thanks to our sponsors and thanks to the entire crew here tonight. Ashley Harley back in the studio, our executive producer for Abe Bowden. We invite you back to the uh, boys game, which will happen at 7 o'clock tonight. Until then, we say so long, everybody.
This has been Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk 1067 KNKI Pine Top and italk 1067com Brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Deemer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, and Little Bluebird Studios. This broadcast has been a copyrighted production of iTalk 1067 and Country Mountain Airwaves, a Copenhagen communication station. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or use of this broadcast without the expressed written consent of iTalk 1067 or Country Mountain Airwaves is strictly prohibited. For more information on this game and other games around the region, go to iTalk 1067.com.